A door here. Let's start a controversy. Forsaken, Destiny's newest expansion, has been out since September 4th of this year. In that time, I've amassed a whopping three exotic draws, none of which are Forsaken exotics. Nah, girl, that can't be true. It actually is, and unfortunately, Bungie never seems to get this right. Correct me if I'm wrong now. Exotics can still drop as duplicates. Facts. Exotics, even from powerful reward engrams, have a tiny drop percentage. Mm-hmm. Forsaken exotic engrams are no more likely to drop than year two ones. Facts. Let me take your mind back a ways. Back to when Destiny 2 was first announced. Remember how they said they were going to reward us? They said we wouldn't have to do activities we didn't enjoy anymore, and that we could just play the game. No matter how you decided to play, they promised you that you would get rewards and feel powerful. For all the problems that Destiny 2 launched with, this was only to a small degree one of them. Yes, exotics are incredibly special and unique. Yes, when you receive one it should be a rare occurrence. But not holiday present rare. Do you know how many fake holidays there have been in the time it has taken me to obtain Sunbreakers from the Bindwell, Crimson from PvP activities, and Armitarian from PvE? A lot, okay? A lot. Are you familiar with these exotics? If you are, then you'll recognize that none of these are from Forsaken. Worse yet, only one of them is even from the DLC expansions. I mentioned that exotic drop rates were only one minor problem with Destiny 2 at release. The biggest problem was random rolls missing from Destiny. No clue who came up with that bright idea, but I bet they got thrown out the window the moment Bungie gained some sense. The idea and the person. I'm speaking hyperbolic here, people. What am I playing now in September, Bungie? Mass Effect? Take out a notepad, and let me grill you on why exactly that game failed. Let's see how close to their playbook you are. Mass Effect Andromeda launched with an awful and weak story. How did you fare, Bungie? Better than Destiny, but not better than Taken King. That was at launch. But now you've put out the best story you ever have. Opinions. Bioware kept polluting their own loot pool by adding pointless variants. You added another DLC with its own exotics and never fixed the duplicate problem. You gave us collections. Thanks. What's your excuse now? Mass Effect never had story DLC, but the ones you put out hardly count. You created Eververse, which has been a colossal nightmare. I paid for festival items and lost them. Facts. Check the video. But that was in Destiny 1. We can get purchased items out of collections now. Great! They cost glimmer and shards now, right? Nope. They cost more bright dust. You mean what I used to purchase them in the first place? Yep. Are you smiling, Bungie? I bet you are. Mass Effect's added variants killed their economy. Your duplicate problem is killing yours. There is no reason for duplicate engrams anymore. There is little reason that my best source of non-forsaken loot is Zer. I don't like Zer. He isn't selling anything I want. Sure, they all have armor perks now, but that isn't a substitute for exciting drops. I'd rather get them in the wild, and I don't mean in one weekend. Someone else can figure out the numbers. Mass Effect Andromeda's polluted system makes it take thousands of hours. I can't imagine that yours is much different. On top of that is Eververse. I don't think I'm the only guardian that would like to find exotic ornaments on the field rather than from Tess. I don't want to have to play for years. I have a life outside this game. What is reasonable in my mind? We should be able to earn all the exotics or at least most of them, by the time your next expansion rolls around. Also, please for the love of all that is darkness, please don't keep reusing exotics. We've seen the Dreaming City and Last Wish Raid. We know what you are capable of now. You took your own arrow to the knee and we will expect nothing less. You have shown your creativity. You can come up with an entire new set of exotics for year three. I'll help you. Make them Taken themed. Or hell, bring on the darkness. Few have brave last wish, but we are ready. No, I wasn't talking about me. Don't crucify me. Another problem is getting items, especially exotics, to drop when we need one more piece of armor or a specific weapon slot to bump our light up. It is awfully frustrating to roll arms five times from prime and powerful engrams when all we need is legs. You can't think that is fun, right? It happened to me last night. Of course I'm salty. As far as I know, it isn't fun, and it has been a problem since you introduced light levels. 
We want to play the amazing new content we paid for, Bungie. This kind of system really rubs salt in the wound that I had personal things to do and couldn't log on for a few days. I know for a fact I'm not the only one feeling that pain. I don't want to waste time attempting to solo Ascendant challenges because I'm waiting for legs to drop. Still salty. Sue me. Your exotic problems have spilled over too. Because I noticed, I hardly ever get legendary drops of any light level anymore. My game might have broke on one of the patches where you didn't fix these issues. Hmm? Also, what on earth is wrong with Edge Transit? It's a decent grenade launcher. We get it. Now fix it. I guess it's all the bounty system now. We aren't asking for loot caves, Bungie. Just put some pretty loot on the ground. She should have said, damn. She's trying to be nice. So what is the solution? I'm sure lots of people will say in the comments. My advice would be to first fix your exotic duplication problem. I don't know if Kate's ghost is over there messing with things, but it shouldn't be that hard. Next, exotic quests are pretty amazing. We need more of those. Where are Wish Ender and Malfeasance at? Some people found Callum's grave. Make it happen, Bungie. I have the ornament. And it's the first taken one I've seen. I need a taken hand cannon in my life. Might dissolve some salt. <laughs> no kidding. You need to find some balance. Thanos wouldn't be proud. No one wants exotics dropping all the time. Oh yeah? I don't care. Those people are wrong, okay? We want a steady collection. Exotics should certainly be dropping from your hardest challenges, and it shouldn't take weeks to get even the old ones to drop. Legendary engrams should drop when we kill enemies too, not only from public events and bounties. Your coin idea was a mammoth failure. I thought we were talking about elephants. Shh. Thankfully, you have learned from it, but pressing buttons to see shiny golden balls is not my idea of a good time. Might be Trump's. What? He likes everything gold. Don't get political. Loot Caves have always highlighted the unique and beautiful color scheme of Destiny. We gave you Dreamin' City. Not good enough. We want loot. You promised, Bungie. You promised. Now deliver. Hey y'all, it's Adore here. I really hope you enjoyed this critique of Destiny 2's loot problems. Honestly, I'm loving Forsaken. In my opinion, it's the best content we've seen from Bungie. But the many Ellas have been bugging me about all the problems. On your left is my most recent video, and on your right is hopefully something good that YouTube recommends. Please like this video and share it everywhere. The many Ellas will be oh so pleased. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying my best to put out unique and quality content. Please also ring the bell or you'll hardly ever hear from me. Sad face. Well, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay. Bye-bye.